Cultural Center. The center has been almost a decade in the making. The timing seems right with the Valley's Latino population growing twice as quickly as non-Latinos. Team 12's Graham Resnick spoke with a longtime Latino artist about his hopes for the center and where it could be located. And if you look at my work, it's always positive. It's always celebrating uh, Hispanic art and, and life. Jose Andreas Giron has been a working artist for 50 years. The life and art he celebrates could soon reach a much larger audience. Performing arts, music, food, these are the three elements that we need. Giron was on a City of Phoenix committee that recommended the site for a new Latino cultural center. We have a little flavor of our own right here in Phoenix. A new center has been a long time coming. The preferred site is the Phoenix Center for the Arts in Hans Park, just north of downtown. You look at Satarita and you look at the potential that it has to create a uh, significant uh, destination, if you will. The historic Santa Rita Hall south of downtown could also be in the mix. Civil rights activist Cesar Chavez staged a 24-day hunger strike there in 1972. It drew national attention. We hope to expand out and uh, grow with uh, uh, whatever is being proposed right now. City officials say the existing Arts and Cultural Center downtown, home to Huron and other artist studios, hasn't been ruled out. We would look at that funding as what we could do again on a new site or on the current facility. The $21.7 million slated for a Latino cultural center is one of dozens of improvements packed into a half billion dollar Phoenix borrowing package that's known as the Go Bond. There's a new downtown headquarters for Phoenix police, four new fire stations, new affordable housing and renovated senior centers, plus street, sewer, and flood control projects. Phoenix voters will have their say in a special election November 7th. In Phoenix, Graham Resnick, 12 News.